Hello friends, second topic of how to get taste for the holy names is try to keep your worries and desires aside during chanting. It's very easy to say, but it's very difficult to do. Yeah, but if a little bit I give explanation, then it will be a little bit easier for you to focus on the names other than rather than focusing on your desires and worries. If suppose you uh, lost your money, oh my god, where I lost this money, your credit card, oh my god, what will happen now? Or you're, you are having bank balance and this state bank of India, something happened and oh my god, what will happen? So many worries. Or suppose you have some desire, I want to get married but nothing is happening or I want to have a kid, nothing is happening but so many desires we have, how to get rid of them, at least during the time when you are chanting. Please understand one thing, Krishna is a person and he has feelings, he has his own qualities and he really cares for others. He really cares for other people's desires and he really wants to take care of people's problems and especially of his devotees. And he really understands people's sacrifice for him. If somebody does sacrifice for him, he will understand it. That's why when you are chanting, if you sacrifice your thoughts about those worries, those desires for two hours for the sake of concentrating your mind on Krishna, it's a huge sacrifice and Krishna will consider it so much. He will say, oh my God, this person has so many worries in life. He lost someone or he, he lost his money. He's losing his house. But he's sacrificing all the things, all the worries, just to give his attention to me or her attention to me. That's why I have to take care of this person. Or if you have material desires and you sacrifice this for two hours, don't think about them. Don't think. Just try to focus on the holy names. And Krishna will say, oh my God. She likes to have that desire to be fulfilled. But she is sacrificing, sa sacrificing that so that she can dedicate her mind to me. That will say Krishna. So understanding that, it will help you to keep aside your worries for some time. Two hours in a day out of 24, just two hours. Sacrifice it for Krishna. And then understand if you do that krishna likes to take care of others krishna especially will take care about all your problems which you have sacrificed at least in your thoughts for krishna if you do 10 steps towards krishna he will do his own 10 steps towards you and he is very big one minute that he is very big so, in, in order to support this idea, I will give you an example, the story which really happened. There was a king who used to worship Lord Jagannath and he was very strict in his sadhana. And he had, a, he had built a very nice room for the deities that when he enters to that room, nobody should disturb him, even his own wife, kids, nobody. He will tell, don't disturb me for two hours. I'm inside this deity room and I'll be doing my service. Nobody, even if whole world crashes, war happens, enemies attack us, I don't care. I want to focus on my Lord. So nobody dared to enter inside that room, even his own wife. Such intense his devotion was. So one day he entered inside and after 20 minutes or so the they found out that enemies are attacking their city very serious enemies are coming to attack and if they come that's it the kingdom will be lost crushed into the earth it their very strong enemies are attacking this country this kingdom so ministers got so much worried oh my god we need to call our king he has to fight and 
He has to fight back this enemy, otherwise it's, otherwise it's the end of our life. This is the end day of our life. So they requested his wife, please talk, he doesn't shout at you, you just open the door and call, invite him out. But she says, I cannot, because he, he, it's his, for many years he is doing, he is not opening the door and we shouldn't disturb him. But ministers continue continue requesting and she's also start she also starts understanding that it's getting late because enemies are attacking the city country so she goes to the door and puts her hand for knocking the door door opens and her husband is standing there what happened she says enemy is attacking our country he comes out, closes the door, and runs in the speed of a uh, light. And then he fights all the enemies, uh, destroys them, some people ran away. So he protected the city, immediately comes, opens the room. I told you not to disturb me, and closes the door. And after two hours, the uh, king comes uh, from his deity room. And wife says, oh, thank you so much, but so sorry that we disturbed you during your puja time, during your service to the deities. The husband says, what? Did you disturb me today? And then, oh, but you came out yourself and fought all the enemies. See, now the city is congratulating and they're celebrating the victory. The king, king that time understands, oh my god. While I was worshipping the deity, deity came out in my form and took care of all my problems. So that is Krishna. Don't worry, he won't leave you with your problems and with your unfulfilled desires. Even if he doesn't fulfill your desires, he will do the best thing for you. Don't worry and try to keep your worries and desires aside at least two hours a day. Other part of the explanation will be in the next video. Thank you friends.